There are two ways to share these digital Valentines with your students, and it all depends on what your school district blocks and what they allow students to access. So I'm going to show you two different ways, and one of them will be the best for you. So when you get your copy of the Digital Valentines, you're going to share this with your students. So I'm going to go into Google Classroom and I'm going to create my assignment. I'm going to add the link and then I'm going to change it so that each student has their own copy. I'll click assign. Now, when students click on their copy, here's what they're going to see. So they will see these different templates. They can click on whatever template they want. They're going to click on the link below and they'll click make a copy and then they'll be able to customize it and send it to a friend. When they want to customize another one, they'll come back to the templates and they can choose another template if they want and then they'll make a copy again. Now, your school district might actually block students from creating their own copies from that template page. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. My district actually does block it. So when they click on the link, it's going to come to this page that says they're going to need access. So that is not going to work for your students. If that's the case for your school district, no problem. Here's the way around it. What you'll do is you'll have your teacher copy open, the copy that you just downloaded from the product, and you are going to actually click on each of these templates and click make a copy. That way they're in your Google Drive. When they're in your Google Drive, your students are able to access them. So I'm just going through each of the four templates. I'm clicking on the link below and clicking make a copy. So you'll just do that each time, make a copy of each one. Now that they're in your Google Drive, you can assign them to your students. So now I'm going to go back to my classwork and this time instead of adding one link, I'm going to add all four of the links. So I'm going to go into my Google Drive. I'm going to click on the last four things here. They're right at the top. I can hold down control and click each one. Then I'm going to click insert. Now you can see that all of them have been added. If you do it this way, you want to keep it at students can view file. That way they're able to come back and make multiple copies of each of the Valentine cards. So I'm going to click assign. Now when I'm that student and I go to view assignment, you can see that they're all four here. So I can choose them this way if I'm the student. So if I go ahead and click on this one here, it says view only. So your students are going to go to file, make a copy. They'll type in the friend's name or the teacher's name that they want to send it to. So it's real quick and easy to type in that name. And then it's also easy to find it in their drive if they need to come back to it. Then they'll fill out their Valentine and share it with that friend. If they want to send this style Valentine to another friend, they can go back to the tab at the top and just click file, make a copy again, type in the new friend's name, and click OK. If they want to create a, another Valentine from a different template, then they'll just go back to their Google Classroom. They'll click on the template that they want. Again, they'll go to File, Make a Copy. So you'll have to tell them to do that, of course. They'll type in that friend's name and then they can customize and share the Valentine. So that is how you have to share these digital Valentines. The first way is definitely the quickest. However, not all districts will allow it. So if that's the case, the second way will be quick and easy for you as well.